What's up guys, welcome back to the Indie Auto Blogger YouTube channel and today we are going to be looking at my buddy Austin's 2002 E46 M3 in the beautiful Phoenix Yellow. Now, there's a few nifty little quirks and features on this one um, that I, I think you're going to want to see and we'll uh, we'll look over at Austin here for a little bit just to kind of get the lowdown up, on this. So uh, Austin, tell us about your vehicle. Well, first of all, glad to be here. We've got the 2002 M3. Um, we did a couple things to it. Um, we've got coilovers on it for the track with some Apex square setup wheels. Um, lightweight, definitely a lot lighter than what the factory 19 inch wheels are. Um, and then we threw a full agency power exhaust system at it with a Prima Plus Active Auto Works supercharger uh, with methanol injection. So. Uh, fun yeah. little machine. Yeah. And uh, just so you're aware, it's it's starting to rain on us here, so this this freaking sucks, but this is the dedication and me wanting to get this vehicle on here because he lives far away and doesn't take it out as often as he should. I'm just kidding, you take it out a lot. It's here in the rain. We've been at a cars and coffee event all morning. See under the hood? Yeah, let's take a look and we'll do a, a walk around. Gotta get this done before it starts pouring down. Yep, yep. So we got the aftermarket manifold supercharger oh yeah the methanol system is located in the trunk and uh, got the oil cooler for the supercharger and you're still working on getting an updated tune right absolutely yes oh, yeah. constantly working on a tune trying to get the most horsepower out of this thing as possible with the setup that i have uh, it's just above five right now it's supposed to be making six um, going with a bigger fuel pump um, apparently we are leaning out after about 5,000 rpm so we're gonna get some more fuel to it and hopefully that'll take care of our issue there so we can get the full 600 out of it stay and tuned for a nice track day yep and then we will be headed to the track so stay posted for that I'll have uh, Pat here come out with me when we decide to go to Putnam here in the uh, Indianapolis area much appreciated I love these wheels such a beautiful color now I know this question's come up a ton did this spoiler come with the car it did uh, not quite sure where it came from have not been able to locate one or find out who the manufacturer is but I decided to leave it on the car it's got some sentimental value to it um, this was my brother's car before he had actually passed away An insurance company had taken it actually spent a, an entire year looking for the car found it fixed here in indianapolis um, bought it immediately um, as soon as i got it um, i started in just doing throwing my own stuff on there that uh, made the car a little bit more enjoyable for me like the wheel suspension supercharger and stuff like that to keep it uh, updated and with the times uh, with the new yeah. cars wow. they're coming out with more and more horsepower you know so um, definitely a fun little car. It's, it's what, what kind of exhaust is on this? It's an agency power. Okay. That's headers and full system all the way back. Okay. Car got taken in 2011. I found it in 2012 and I've had it ever since. So She's a beauty. It's in the family now and that's where it shall remain. I have no intentions on ever selling it. Now... For those of you who don't know, he had a Phoenix Yellow M4 as well that unfortunately met an early demise. But we won't talk about that. <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> oh, this is such a, a good looking A little bit of a heartbreak car. letting go of the M4. You guys good? Oh yeah. Yeah, thank you. People checking on us because they think the car's broken down in the rain. In reality, we're uh, we're just crazy doing a, a review. Yeah. We're uh, probably gonna cut this one a little early. I'll uh, I'll get some videos on the inside and us driving it around. It's in the rain, so nothing crazy will happen. But yeah, stay tuned. And we're back in the interior after a little nice little uh, shower. Uh, got ourselves cleaned off. Got the car cleaned off a little bit. But yeah, here's just like a quick interior walk around while we're driving. Now, there's a huge troll feature in this car that cracks me up. And I'm just gonna show you real quick. It's got a six speed knob here. It's, it's not six speed, it's SMG. So 
he uh it, what what what'd you do here so so you didn't like the knob it was a little worn down and, yeah and i had a six-speed knob laying around from a previous m3 that i owned so i stuck it on here uh just to troll people uh, most people don't like the SMGs. Um, I have no issues out of it. I have done the proper maintenance on it and um, It shifts faster on the track and um, I like having the paddle shifters while being on the track. So um, the SMG is better for me in my opinion uh, Most people don't think so, but uh, since somebody everybody is so in love with the six speeds I decided to put that knob on there just to troll everybody so it tripped me out this morning he was changing the music and casually driving and I didn't think to look over if, to see if there was a clutch pedal yeah it's awesome love it but thanks for tuning in folks as always if you like the content smash the like button for me don't forget to subscribe and leave the comments in the comment section